efforts by the Ashanti Regional Security Council to flush out prostitutes in Kumasi appears to be a wild goose chase as practitioners, including children, increase. Despite uh, being an illegal business, the practice is widespread with little or no resistance as some joint in the full glare of the public. Nanaya Ojima has been to one of the city's biggest slums, Asafo Bibi, where, where uh, commercial sex work and crime complement each other. Here is his report. A Nidasu Hotel at Asafo is now a crime scene as the Asoka District Police investigate death of a man believed to be a patron of commercial sex. The unidentified deceased person with a condom on fell through the window from the top floor of a three-story building. Kojo Safo, who witnessed the incident, describes the place as a brothel occupied by prostitutes, mostly foreigners. In August 2019, 36 commercial sex workers believed to be Nigerians were arrested and repatriated in an exercise by the RECSEC. This building, sitting in the middle of Asafo Transport Terminal, is perhaps the preserve of high-class prostitutes. About 200 meters from the terminal is Asafo Bibi, the biggest prostitution and crime hub. Wooden shacks of the sizes of average living rooms are further divided into eight cubicles, each about three by four meters squared. In one of the cubicles is this lady I choose to call Abna. She will not tell me her real age, but looks under 18, in my estimation. Another one who has been in business for about a year tells me she is 18. She owns a cubicle in the shack where she confirms sleeping with men for between 20 and 30 CDs per head. Another shack from the outside looks like a pub, but inside it has two major parts, a pub and shelter for prostitutes. From my conversation with them, it seems five out of eight occupants of each shack hail from the Bono and Ahafu regions. They have traveled to Kumasi in search of greener pastures. Some of them tell me commercial sex work has been the alternative after failure to secure their dream decent jobs. <laughs> These sharks spanning the rail lines at Asafo are owned by people who have made a lot of money from hiring them out to tenants over years. One of them admits to making thousands of CDs from the shack he acquired at 700 Ghana CDs four years ago. Every kid is 50 Ghana. And I like it. I'm not sure if 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 I'm not Aside prostitutes, thieves, armed robbers, drug peddlers, and other criminals live here. A few weeks ago, a young man lost a limb after refusing to let them have his mobile phone. Some of the thieves here review their mode of operations. We know the end there, I potting, and the mean will mean to me, Lem. I potting, I there, potting at the soil, you know. I will know, gentlemen. To enter this wooden structure, there's only one way in, but to exit, there are several of them, and these exits are used by the robbers whenever there is a police invasion here in this slum. Sanitation is a major challenge here as the main Kumasi drain running through center of the slum 
continues to be choked with piles of refuse. Others use it as a place of convenience and bathrooms. Continued existence of this hub is a dent to effort of the regional security council to deal with prostitution until authorities do something more drastic. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima reporting.